Are you ready? Yep. Are we recording? Yep. Okay. Here we are in the H. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dylan. Today we're going to take this Express H22 Bay out to the water and check it out. Here we are in the back of the Express H-22 Bay. This particular boat is equipped with the 175 SHO Yamaha. Yamaha is the preferred choice of brand for Express boats. We're going to show you the top end speed of this boat as well as do a little bit of footage around the boat and show you, and show you the general boat itself. Sitting at the helm of the Express H-22 Bay is comfortable for every angler. You have a high back chair with a nice backrest as well as a fold down foot bar with the Extreme Marsh package, which is also giving you the Extreme Bay stainless steel package. On the dash of the Extreme Marsh package, you'll have stainless steel lit LED push button switches instead of the polymer rocker switches. You will also gain a nine inch Helix Hummingbird, a water pressure gauge, as well as a water pressure sending kit going to your Yamaha engine. This particular boat is equipped with their premium wet sound stereo system with four speakers, as well as the jack plate control switch for your Atlas jack plate that is included with the Extreme Marsh package as well. For 2022, Express has redesigned their gauges. They have an all-in-one gauge that has built-in trim, hour meter, fuel gauge, as well as a tachometer. Your H20, H22, and the H24 bay boats are all equipped with two live wells. One will be in front of the console. This particular live well will have a recirculator built into it and an oxygenator if you get the marsh or the extreme marsh package. The rear live well is located in right behind the leaning post in the back of the boat. On the Express Extreme Marsh and the Marsh package boats, when you get the upgraded stainless switch panel, your first is the main power switch. This is gonna pass all the power to the dash. Next is your navigation lights on a single switch. This is going to power both your anchor and your nav lights together, as this is nighttime running mode. This will activate your red and green lights in the front of the boat that you need to go up to the front and stab into the hole, as well as your anchor lights. Again, you need to, to install the pole into the back of the boat. This turns it back off again. You can only activate your anchor light by itself if you're sitting at night fishing saying, please don't hit me. Live well manual. When we turn this on, this is gonna draw the raw water from the outside of the boat and draw it into our live well systems. If we activate the automatic side of the switch, this is going to put our live well on a timer. It'll run for five minutes and shut off for three. Bait well manual. This is going to activate the recirculator in the front live well only. Same thing with the automatic switch for the bait well. If we activate the bait well automatic switch, this is going to put our bait well time, put our, put our bait well on a timer. It'll run for five minutes, shut off for three. Bilge pump. This boat's equipped with an automatic bilge pump. Automatic sides can fail. We have the switch on the dash to override the automatic side of the bilge pump to manually activate it. Express has offered a ton of storage in their boats. Here in the rear of the boat, you're, you have two jumper seats with dry boxes underneath them that can also double as coolers. At the bow of the boat, all the storage lockers combine in with each other. Up in the very front lid, you have a plastic bin to hold all of your equipment 
not getting all the way to the floor of the boat. Here I've got a seven foot rod. It fits perfectly up into the bow of the boat. For easy rod storage. Standard on this boat is a 46 pound hand shaft Minn Kota trolling motor. That's barely enough to move this boat. We have upgraded this particular boat with the 80 pound Tarova. I wanna go over the battery system with you as well as the trolling motor to explain how we have these, uh, everything set up. Inside the console is where your trolling motor batteries are going to be kept. This is your main 60 amp breaker, which passes power to the front. When we install these trolling motor systems, we do not want our motor involved with the trolling motor system at all. We have a two bank separate charger built in to the console with a nice quick flush plug on the side for when you're done with the boat for the day, you can plug in your trolling motor and it keeps everything maintained battery wise for you. On this particular H22 Bay, we have an 80 pound Tarova iPilot by Minn Kota Trolling Motors on, the t on this boat. We also feature an MKA51 slide bracket as well as Minn Kota's quick plug for the trolling motor. You can quickly disconnect the entire trolling motor using this setup. We're going to show you the top speed on the trolling motor at what miles per hour that it carries this boat. There's max power. I kick the prop on. All right, two miles an hour, two and a half. All right, straight line. Two point two miles an hour. Thanks for hanging out with us today on the H22 Bay Express. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, anything that you want to see in the future videos, leave down in the comments, and we'll be sure to get to you. Catch you later. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> do, do it one more.